to the China Coast Avoc Marathon and Half Marathon. Half Marathon, go to the right hand side, full marathon to the left hand side. When you've got your running number, don't forget to pick up your blue bag to put your kit in. So today is going to be a good test of fitness, I think. It's um, the China Coast half marathon today that I'm running. So I'm not expecting a amazing time because it's not a flat course. It's supposed to be a really, really hilly course. It's supposed to be up and down. People have said there is no flat. So I think there's about 900 meters of climbing over the half marathon. So pacing's probably out of the window, but let's see how it goes. Okay, 124.55. So I broke 125 today, which is really, really good. Really happy with Next that. In and very hilly on, course. It's ridiculous at times. Like really steep gradient, very typical of Hong Kong. Beautiful course though. A bit exposed at times because um, the wind was just insane. You know, sometimes I just felt like I was getting blown to the side. Um, I actually wish I'd taken my camera on the course because it was so picturesque. Like beautiful rolling hills, beautiful scenery, right by the sea, really nice. Hello. Banana. Please. Always banana. Muffin. Thank you. Um, yeah, banana. Thank you. Uh, I'm okay for muff. I'm okay for muffins. No, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Medium. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. See you next year. Bye bye. Oh, great. Oh, perfect. I'll replace this one. Thank you. <laughs> looking for <laughs> <laughs> So it was really cool. So I got a nice t-shirt and a banana and a bandana. Awesome. It's a pretty cool t-shirt you get. 2016 and I think the bandana's got the same logo on as well. Nice. Just had a couple of hundred meters warm down jog and uh, my quads are hurting. So I must be pounding the downhill. I remember looking at my watch and I was going 252 per kilometer pace going down this hill which is obviously pretty fast at kilometer 21 felt like uh felt like a kenyan second place goes to what'd you get what'd you get Nice little uh, oh my drink of beer out of it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it was the China Coast Half Marathon yesterday and um, did a pretty good time, I was very happy with. So 124.54, so I broke 125 on a, what is a tough course. I can only describe it as a tough course. Very hilly, very windy. Um, yeah, it was 915 meters of climbing according to Strava, so it's pretty full on course. And, and the, the thing about it is, the funny thing was, you know, straight away you hit the hills, so you're not even getting time to get it into your, into your zone, into your pace that you want to sort of latch on to for the rest of the run. You know, I think I always find that on a flat course it's great, you can just settle into your pace and just, just flow with it, but on a course like this, not a chance. You can see here, within 300 meters, we're hitting a climb. And the climb is steep, you know, the gradient is gets pretty steep at times and you can see my pace slowing down as we go along. 18% gradient, you know, it's pretty full on 22% there, 23%, 521 a kilometer, so you know, really not going fast at all. And then you just got to blast the downhills when you get to them. Um, not much flat in the course, um, which is not the best for me because I'm probably better on the flat. I've got a lot better at the hills since I moved to Hong Kong, but you know I'm not as good as some of the the mountain goats you get in trail runs. But hopefully, hopefully one day I'll get better, more more practice on the hills. Blasting the downhill at the end, that was really fun. You know, going sub three minute kilometer pace, and uh, I just zoom in down there. It's fantastic fun. Um, really aches my quads though. I mean, my quads have been pretty sore today, so I went to a massage this afternoon and uh, sorted it out a bit. But yeah, really, really good course. And um, there is a marathon version of it as well, but I'm not sure I fancy that, to be honest. I think the marathons, I think you do this twice. And this was enough for me. It was it was pretty full on. We look at the race race analysis. Second half of the race did faster than the first. That's great. Always an aim of mine. If I can do negative splits in the second half, very happy. So I did it in a recent 10K race as well. Done it today, so or yesterday. So hopefully, um, yeah, keep that kind of 
keep that going. I, I used to have a tendency to just blast out too fast and then end up uh, blowing up. So hopefully I've learned to be more sensible and, and a bit more regimented in, in my pacing. So yeah, really, really happy with this. I think it's good. It's good. We've been, I don't know if I've been training now, six, six weeks in the, uh, five weeks in my marathon training plan. So yeah, another seven weeks to go. Hopefully this is a, this is a good sign that I'm doing the right things and uh, keep this going.